Hi everybody. Stage 18 did go to the break and my man Mikel made it into third before getting relegated. I still believe he would have had this one were it not for the fact of having his teammate up the road. Anyways, keep an eye on Mikel for the years to come. Over to stage 19 where Bora did control and we saw Martinez hammering it on the Alto del Moncalvillo with only Vlasov and Roglic in his wheel. For Vlasov to add another layer and Roglic finishing off a 5k solo with 46 seconds on Godu and Skelmose. Here's the GC going into stage 20 with Roglic taking the red jersey with a healthy 1 minute 54 second lead on O'Connor and 2 minutes 20 on Mas. What will be interesting to watch tomorrow is the fight for the white jersey between Skelmos and Rodriguez who sit on P6 and 7 in the overall GC. They're only separated by 8 seconds with Skelmos taking the upper hand on stage 90. With only 60 points on offer till Madrid the green jersey competition is sealed and Groves only has to keep the rubber side down and finish the race to take his second consecutive green jersey at the Vuelta. In the fight for the Polkadot jersey, we're not there yet. Soler is holding the jersey going into the stage, sitting one point ahead of his teammate Fine and 20 points on Pablo Castrillo, while stage 20 has 46 points on offer, so expect a fight between UAE and Castrillo for all points on offer in course of tomorrow's stage. Personally, I expect Soler to have this one in the bag. Which brings us to the penultimate stage of this year's Vuelta, the Queen stage to Picon Blanco. The stage runs over 172k and presents the riders with over 5000 meters of elevation gain. The first two category 1 climbs in this stage climb gently, yet will build up the fatigue towards the finish climb on the Picon Blanco, 8k at over 9% average and several sections in the double digit gradients. Does somebody dare to bring the fight to Roglic? Personally, given that we've seen some weakness in Roglic on hard days, I think they should, yet it takes a brave rider and a brave team to do so. They have to be willing to risk their top 10 position and unfortunately that doesn't happen too often. Here's the stage shots at the time of recording with Roglic, Mas and Carapaz the main favourites in that order. With the amount of climbing being presented to the riders throughout the stage and in the final 40k, I personally don't think the break will make it stick, yet it's not excluded, so I'll be calling both GC and breakaway guys. Landa at Quickstep, Carlos Rodriguez at the Grenadiers, roughly the entire UAE team from the break. Sivakov, Fine, Yates, Soler, all could win here. Sepp Kuss at Visma Lisa Bike. Godu, Carapaz, Roglic and Mas from the GC group. Pool at DSM, Dunbar at Jaiko Alula, very good on today's stage. And Skelmos at Little Trek. Rikitello at Israel Premier Tech or Castrillo at Ken Pharma. Roglic is my only 4 star favorite for the stage. Mas, Godu and Skilmos get 3 stars, Carapaz and Dunbar get 2 stars, and Kus, Yates, Soler and Vine each get 1 star. In terms of podium prediction, I'm going with the GC scenario, calling Roglic for the win ahead of Mas and Godu. Should it turn out to be a break, I'm liking Dunbar's chances here. Enjoy the stage and see you tomorrow for my ITT preview.